Zia. This video was probably titled something along the lines of the worst video ever or the worst video I ever, ever had to make or I didn't like making this video, something like that, but it's not true. It's just recording it is what's going to be the worst thing because I want 100% favour in every house and RuneScape, old school RuneScape as a whole, is a big grind, but when you combine these five houses together, that is the biggest fucking grind in old school RuneScape history. To get from 0% favour to even 80% favour so you can unlock the Necromancy Spellbook, you have to sit in this fucking library, a library, library <laughs> in this, this building for, for three hours just clicking on bookshelves. Luckily when it comes to Zia, I sort of know what I'm doing because I did make a shit ton of guides when Zia first released. Within the first week I had, I had a guide for every house except Piscarellus because when I got to doing this house, I was so demoralised and demotivated and bored that I wanted to fucking shoot myself, so I didn't do it. After I'd done that, they were like, oh, now you can get 100% favour in every house at the same time without losing your progress. So I got 100% favour in every house and lost it. So I was 100% favour in Shazane after, every, after everything, everything else was 0%. And then they bring out this mini game and I have to go through it all over again. <sighs> Fuck. And not only that, um, <laughs> when they when they decided to mix up a little bit and make Zia a bit better, when I done it, back in the day when it first released, it was about three times longer to get everything 100%. So when I was doing House of Cities, it took me from about 9am when the expansion was released until 2am the fucking same day. Like, like almost, like that's like 16 hours or so. I don't know how long it is, but that's a shit ton of hours. And I spent all day just making a single guide to get 100% favour in a single house. And although people have watched that video as a guide that people watch and that's good, but it was so fucking tedious and... I've got to do it again, but now it's easier, so don't worry, even though I've done it when it was hard, fuck you. Now it's time to dig up dirt for the next six hours, just so we can get some um, favour in House of Sidious. Um, it's not it's not exciting, guys, I'm not going to record it, well, other than now. And the reason I'm doing this, guys, the reason I'm actually trying to get 100% favour in every house is they give good bonuses, like in Arceus, you've got the Necromancy spell book. I can teleport, well actually, once I'm 83 magic, I can teleport two battles, which is insanely OP. Um, Hesidius, you get this, oh, you get a good farming XP minigame thing with Lovakenge. No, actually, that's kind of shit, that one. I don't know about the fishing one either, but with Shazayan, you get Lizard Men Shaman as well, so everything has their own benefits. But I'm not only doing it for those rewards. Monkey Madness 2 is going to be in Zia, or a large part of it is going to be in Zia, and I'm worried that the developers haven't decided to state that you would need favour in one of the houses or a couple of the houses to get the quest done. Although I don't think that will be true, I don't think to force players to grind through all this shit, but Monkey Madness 2 is going to be in Z or at least some parts of it is, and that isn't a secret, so um, I don't know what to expect really, but just in case, I don't want to be unprepared, I don't want to. I don't want the quest to come out and then realise, oh fuck, I need to get 100% favour in every house, I may as well get it out of the way now, and this gives me an excuse to grind through it, deal with it so never have to touch it again because once you've got 100% favour in every house I never have to worry about it again it's something in RuneScape you can just ignore for the rest of your fucking I don't know game time <laughs> I guess okay this is the worst part I said that the other thing was the worst part this is the worst part I've just sat in the bank you use one piece of salt on a compost bucket and you're just sat here waiting for it to slowly fill up because you can't you can't like move it one down to the bottom and like just like speed click them. You can't do that. They just fill up. So you just gotta you just gotta suck it up. You just gotta wait. So yeah, this is um this is fun content, guys. This is a great video. I'm glad you're watching it. You're probably having more fun watching this than I am making this. Okay, I made four fertilizer. I made four. I made four hundred fertilizer. Um, they require eighteen hundred buckets. What? Please tell me this. Um, yeah, 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 okay, give me the, give me the favour, how much favour did I get? I went from 7% to, it was only 20%, I spent two hours doing that, and it was only 20%. Fuck. This is, I mean, I've, I've got to do it. I've got to do it, it's a part of the game, and once I've done it, it's done. I'm just gonna have to suck up and stop being a bitch. God damn it, this is the worst, this is genuinely... This is, I'm not, this is not an act, I am genuinely upset by this, <laughs> fuck's sake. 
this is just shit. Okay, I've moved on to doing the cooking thing, which is a bit faster in my opinion. And the best way to do this is really just, if you're on your own, which you probably are, you just pummel one of them down. You make, basically there's three food you need to make. You make one until the percentage of appreciation is zero. And then you can make a shit ton of um, these other two and hand them in. So I'm making meat pies right now. I'm about to have 21 in my event and then hand in 21 at a time. I just need to cook them all first actually. Okay, we're on... We're currently on 78.9% favour after we hand in 21 pies at about 50%, 49% appreciation. We earn 7%, okay. So now that's going to go down and the appreciation for savoury stew is going to rocket up past 50%, hopefully to about 70%, that would be nice. This is also going to increase. We may actually be able to make two sets of um, savoury meat pies and then finish it off with a set of stews because at that time, at that point, after I've made another set of pies, the appreciation for stew is going to go so high because I haven't made them in such a long time, so I think that's the plan for now. Maybe I should mention that you always gain favour when you hand in food that is above 30% appreciation, so as long as that doesn't go below 30%, hopefully I can make them in time, um, you will still get favour for it. I guess a, a smaller amount of favour, but you still get favour either way, if it, as long as it's above 30% my clips are terrible, but I'm going to try and quickly make all these pies before it drops below 30%. Please do it fast. Guys, this shit's boring as fuck, but don't worry, you get XP for doing it. Look, I get 3 cooking XP per stew. Fucking Zia. This place is... <laughs> oh, never mind. Let's just, uh, let's just get this shit done. Okay, this should be 100% favour in. House, really? 0.3% I need? 0.3% I'm just gonna go get that in the fields I'm gonna go plow that out quite literally I'm gonna go to this field here so apparently we need to make almost 2,000 um, dynamite to get 100% favor in house Loba Kenj so I'm just buying the most of the ingredients I'm buying what I can okay the actively traded price is 450 so we're gonna spend one mil we're gonna spend one mil on just one house in Kazia and I'm a poor bastard I've only got two mil here so here it goes I'm, come on please Oh, fuck, that hurts. That hurts me so much, man. <laughs> but now we just need to dig up volcanic sulfur or something like that, and that is probably the most annoying thing ever because you can die there, and if you die there, you actually lose all your items, which is a little bit worrying. So, yeah, we've got that to look forward to. I need to mine 1,850 of this stuff here. 1,850. I need to mine all the time, all the while this shit here, let's get these gas clouds randomly move around the area and hurt you and you can't buy this stuff it's so fucking frustrating so my hand right now is in excruciating pain because this is how you make TNT or dynamite sorry you use one thing on the other thing and it slowly but surely fills up but if you don't want to wait an hour for a full inventory you can just spam click it like this which is what I've, what I've, I've been doing this for, for hours and uh, I've finally made 1600 TNT and once you've got the dynamite pots made up you need to add uh, you need to add wool so you take out 14 and then you find your wool and then you take out 14 wool and then you do the exact same thing it doesn't I'm, I'm not doing it perfectly here I'm just basically showing you guys what I've been doing you basically just do this <laughs> it's pretty much um it's pretty it's pretty sore once you do it for a while I'm a bit rusty now because I've been doing it for a long time <laughs> and I'm just tired and I want to go to bed but before we do that we're going to get the rest of this favour, only 2% favour to go, so once we've made up the remainder of that 100 TNT in the bank there, we will have it done, and then we move on to do Piscorelius. I spent 1 mil on making dynamite, and I was I was sad by that, but I actually, I actually profited. I find if this TNT actively traded price 0 GP, that's what it says, and it's, it's apparently it's 1k per pot. Oh, no, I don't trust that. Okay, let's take it down to, say, 800 per pot. If I can make a profit, I mean, I don't actually care about making money, I just want to make a profit, so I spent one mil on the saltpeter, hopefully I can make it back, let's make it 620 each, please, yeah, so much did we get, oh, we got the full, we got the full one mil, or almost one mil, only 80 k off it, I'm pretty happy with that. Getting 15% favour in House Piscorelius took the same amount of time as getting 100% in Archaeus, Asidius or Shazayan. <clears throat> it took so long because you you repaired the cranes spending 500 k or so on nails and planks to repair these cranes here and um, <clears throat> it doesn't do it instantly it just takes forever <laughs> oh my god I'm so d like all every single house I've, I've done in this video I'm pretty sure I've said this is the fucking worst and I want to kill myself for doing this but this one is the worst 
and I want to off myself with it. <laughs> well, I don't know because I've never done it before. And this is the first time I've had 15%, and that unlocks a new way to get favor, which is taking fish to the market. Doesn't that sound exciting? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. I don't wanna. I wanna go to bed. So I've just dug up um, 26 buckets of sandworms, and it's not as easy as you would think, well it's easy, but it's not as simple as that. You don't just hit here, come here and hit dig and you instantly get a full bucket of sandworms. <clears throat> Each pile here has a 1 in 5 chance of giving you a bucket of sandworms. So if I were to empty this, I'll just do one as an example, I will click on this and there's a 1 in 5 chance that will fill up with sandworms. The other 4 chances are dirt or just sand soy, so you sort of have to go, there we go, lucky. I got lucky, but it is a 1 in 5 chance apparently, so it did take some time and I wonder how much favour we're gonna get. We're currently on 30.1% favour and this took, I don't know, maybe like 15 minutes. I don't I don't actually know, I didn't time it. I'm just making a number up, but let's try it. Come on, dude. Please give me. Oh, 4%. Now, is that worth it? 4%? 4% is actually not too shabby. Does this guy sell buckets? Because he just took them all. I bought like... I feel them. Okay, it sells buckets. I'm gonna bring a cash stack then. Fuck's sake. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do this until. I hate to say it, but I'm gonna do it until 100% favour. So, guys, I'm basically just gonna be doing this for the remainder of the video, so I may as well just end it here so I can make sure that this video comes out before Monkey Madness 2 comes out because the perp the reason I came. Well, one of the reasons I came to go do this Zia shit is because. It may be a requirement for Monkey Madness 2, you never know. It probably won't be, and if it isn't, that's fine, because I'll have, after I'm done with this anyway, I'll have 100% favour in all the houses and never have to worry about it ever again. So, even though this whole video I spent complaining about it and shitting on it, which I think is somewhat deserved once I've finally done it, it'll probably be worth it in the end, because it's one thing you do, it's like you take, you, you, you just deal with the shit for a day or two, and then... Never have to worry about it again and you can reap all the rewards. I am lagging so much right now and I don't know why. Okay, yeah, I'm going to end the video here, guys. Um, I will actually, or I will try to be streaming Monkey Madness 2. I will wake up, early before, hopefully before it comes out, maybe like 8am or something, I'll wake up. I'll probably start a stream at 9, maybe half 9am. This is UK time, by the way. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to stream Monkey Madness 2. If you don't already follow me on Twitch, I'll put a link in the description. It's just twitch.tv slash dicers and I will be streaming Monkey Madness 2 hopefully getting it complete and I will also be recording whatever I stream so that I can use that footage of me hopefully completing it and make a video about it teaching or hopefully teaching there's a lot of hopefullys here that footage will be used to make a guide or a somewhat of a guide it won't, probably won't be a fleshed out guide that's great it would just be the sort of ragtag gu guide I can't speak it it's gonna end in the video I can't speak hopefully the video I make will come out on the day of Monkey Madness 2's release, probably in the evening if I ever get it complete. And yeah, that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope me complaining about all this shit was somewhat entertaining to watch because it certainly isn't entertaining to make and I'm laughing at it now because I'm almost done, but god damn it, it was it still is because I've still got fifty I've still got to dig sand for fifty percent more favour and it's garbage. This is so good. <laughs> Never mind. Guys, thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitch to watch Monkey Madness 2 and hopefully I make a guide in it. And hopefully, I'll see you guys next time. I said hopefully about 12 times in the last two minutes. Goodbye. <laughs>